Alrighty then, hey this is Wentis yet again, I'm going to be continuing my let's play of Sonic Adventure. In the last episode, we searched for Amy across the whole city to no avail, only to have found she was kidnapped by that robot and taken to the Mystic Ruins. We then chased her to the, well the egg, the, 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 the robot took her to the egg carrier and we met up with Tails and managed to fly after the egg carrier and we are here now. In this episode, we are going to continue chasing after Amy and attempt to save her. Too many ideas, you fools! You haven't seen the power this vessel really has! Get a load of this! Tails, how could I have not seen that? Darn! This makes it harder for us to get to the bridge. I hate it when he doesn't listen. <laughs> I bet you weren't expecting this. The only way you can get to me is through the sky deck. Find out if you can figure this one out. <laughs> oh yeah? Well, I'll show you. Bring it on. Alrighty then. Well, we have to go through the sky deck, like he said, and that's right this here. Must be the way to the sky deck. Yes, Sonic. This is the way to the sky deck. We go through here, and we end up in Act or Stage Eight, the sky deck. Now, I gotta say, when I was younger, I always thought this was the hardest mission in the game. It's still one of the more challenging missions, and one of the longer missions on top of that. It's really well made, I think. It's a long mission. It changes a lot over the course of it. It's I just like it in general. Here we have this area here. We already have a checkpoint for some strange reason. Oh jeez, I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, these uh, cannons will shoot at you as you're going across here, and they'll try to destroy the ground out from under you. I uh, actually forgot about that. And that was a randomized ring thing, and I end up just getting one ring. You can't, unfortunately, jump to go up these uh, ladders faster. And we could homie tag across all those guys. In fact, I think I'll do that. Uh, uh, let's not mess it up. Okay, made it. Go ahead and collect these animals. Ouch. There we go. And here we have these things which if we jump into them we grab onto them. So it's a new mechanic, it's kinda cool. Spinning around pretty fast. We homie back to that little capsule there and start climbing this ladder. Just have to wait for these spike ball things. Now, you may notice that there's like an alarm sound, then the clouds seem to move around a lot. That isn't important at this particular part of the mission, but as the mission goes on, that actually becomes pretty important. And if we go across here, we get an extra life, which I miss. Alrighty then. Well, let's go ahead and take go across this jump here. If we chose to, if we choose to go this path and we jump right here, we can get an electric shield, so we can have rings flying towards us magnetically. So very useful. Plus, it'll block a hit for us, so never a bad thing. Now we have this area here, which. It feels like it's supposed to be really fast, but it always bugs out for some reason. Also, we have another electric shield here. It always seemed weird to me there were multiple of those in a row, but whatever. No complaints. Uh, here we have another one of these little areas. Uh, whoop, I almost got hit there. Ah, man, I'm finding it really hard to commentate recently. I don't know what it is. I guess it's that I'm really out of practice and I haven't been recording much. But I keep on feeling like I just want to stop talking, and I'm not really sure what to say at many parts. Let's move up past those. Um, there's really not much to say. Shoot, I, I'm really. Oh, <laughs> there's that line again of woohoo! That's so another electric shield. They're just handing us tons of electric shields now. So that's the thing, though. I. I don't know why. I've been just having so much trouble with that recently. Oh, that's a large cannon. That is shooting at us. Now, what we're supposed to do here, I believe we're supposed to move counterclockwise across the, all these bridge paths and climb up our way upward. As you see, this one says one. Actually, no, just follow the arrow. It's not necessarily counterclockwise. Still, um, yeah, as you see here, it says two, and there's an arrow pointing this way. Just keep following these, and you'll be good. And this Ken's firing at you in the middle here. I the way, I've been having trouble with that recently. I just don't know what to say for the most part. I'm trying to improve my commentary as best I can, but I'm just really out of practice, and I'm just, 
not doing well in general, I don't think. I don't know, what do you guys think of my commentary? If you feel like commenting or something like that. Just, I value your guys' opinions, and I take advice where I can. So, I don't know, I always like to hear from you guys with stuff telling me how to improve. Also here we have not a rocket jump, but a rocket launch and destroy the cannon. And we destroy the cannon, we are now in a new area of the sky, of the sky deck. Yes. This is the part that I actually always consider legitimately difficult. When you hear that alarm, you want to grab onto something, because if you don't, there will actually be a really strong wind that, as it says, will blow you off course, and it'll, it can send you flying pretty far, and there's these con these cannons all over the place that can do significant damage. There's some rings and extra life here. Oh, yeah, it's kind of difficult to dodge these cannons. You can destroy them, but still. You can also homing attack to, to these really easily to get to just kind of combo off them if you want to destroy them, but I don't know, this is like the only time I ever do that. If you destroy them, sometimes you'll find capsules underneath, though. Here we have a springboard, and we can just go across here, and here we have the entire wing of the egg carrier being destroyed. Now, I don't really know why, it just this whole area is just being destroyed as we're on it. Alright, now this part is actually kind of difficult. There's these jets coming out. We have to get across here quickly, and it's falling down. If you stay on these platforms, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh no, 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 ah! Yeah, the, there are just chunks of this thing falling out of the sky, and we have to get across it quickly. When you respawn, you actually have more time to go across it, oh, or not. In fact, you have very little time at all. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 let's not do this again. Oh, no. No, 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 I glitched through the floor. Oh, okay. I end up in the launch bay. But, all right, whatever. Made it through. No complaints. Uh, here we have another giant cannon that we're actually going to have to... Whoa. Almost fell off somewhere there. It's going to fire around here. All we have to do is go to these cannon... Or these rocket jumper things and try to hit it into the inside the cannon but I'm failing normally I can get this really fast and it's being annoying right, come on, this way oh, shoot I completely missed all right no Urgh! I'm failing at this more than usual normally I get this on like the first shot and then I even here for more than a few seconds I guess basically what we're trying to do here is we're trying to destroy as much of the egg carrier as we can as we're going through it. We're trying to get to the bridge because, well, Amy's on this thing somewhere and odds are the robot is not out here in the dangerous combat zone. Or it probably dropped her off inside at the very least. So, yeah, Eggman's just making it as difficult as possible for us to get there. So we're destroying things along the way instead to make up for it, I guess you'd say. Now this area has an interesting mechanic to it. The stage will continuously tilt in different directions. Sometimes you can control how it tilts, but most of the time it's just kind of swinging back and forth. And it makes moving around actually pretty difficult. I don't know, it's really weird how stage tilting actually feels like it affects gameplay, even though I'm not sure if it really does all that much. If you're not sliding or anything, it just... I don't know, it feels very different. I can grab onto this hook here. If we keep on going around, though, on it, not letting go early, we can get if you like. Now, lives are not exactly a big deal in this. I have 36 right now, as you can see. We drop down here, we have another one of these. Now, here, the shifting of the egg carrier will actually move these little platforms. So it's kind of a cool thing. Go up here, I believe. Yeah. What you want to do here is you want to run up as fast as you can and get up to here. Because this egg carrier goes completely sideways here. So... You'd have to climb your way up if you didn't immediately run there. So by running there immediately, you save yourself a lot of time. So if you run, now we just have to run down here, and our ultimate goal is down there. In fact, I believe we can just jump down to it. Yep, and if we hit this button, the egg carrier will tilt again and open up this little pathway, which will actually go to the end, just as another capsule. So that's that. We already finished this stage. And a lot faster time than I normally do. It only takes me at least, like, ten minutes to get through it. Well, then again, that was seven minutes. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, bad. that's a thing. That was the Sky Deck, though. Now we have twelve emblems, and we are now inside the Egg Carrier. And we get to see what the bridge of this place looks like. Is that it? It might be. 
But let's check out the bridge. Alright, now this area of the game has a lot of stuff to it that I always thought was interesting. When I was a kid, I actually thought these things would attack you, but they're just kind of moving around. I guess they're like cleaning bots or something. Yeah, there's also like a little maid bot around down here that they don't even react to you. Now, we can't go inside any of these doors. And as you can see here, there's a monorail, but it's offline right now. We are supposed to go into this, but there's this area over here that I did not that I should take note of. Uh, this is the way to another Chow Garden that is connected to Eggman's ship that you basically teleport to. It's a very beach-like area. I'm not really going to be showing it because, well, I don't feel like there's much I can show with the Chow Garden in this game because I never really got into it in Sonic Adventure 1. But if you want to get into here, you, can, you have to check this thing to see the password. Now, the secret password to open the door is Eggman. Yeah, you just jump on these, E-G-G-M-A-N, and then the door will open. Now, I like how there's a television saying, don't forget the secret password to this door right here is this. So, it's like taping a sticky note to a code lock or something like that, or keeping your key taped to your lock to your house door, just so you can make sure you don't get locked out. It's, it, that never made sense to me, it always kind of made me laugh. But we'll be, not be going into there right now, maybe another time. For now, where we do have to go is here. So let's go ahead up, back onto the deck, or yeah, the deck of the sky deck, not sky deck, the egg carrier. Alrighty, so here we have another character fight, this time with E-102 Gamma. Now, he will try to lock onto you and shoot at you, but it's very easy to dodge if you keep running. You just need to homing attack and do damage. It's Honestly, the Knuckles fight was much harder compared to this one. After you hit him once, he'll try to hover around and hit you. And then he will go into this faster mode where he'll speed around trying to get you, but he's still just not a threat.
Alrighty, so now we can play as E-102 Gamma. He is one of the characters in this game. I'll be going over him much later, though. And also, to review what just happened, so... Apparently Gamma helped out Amy in some way or another. Even though he works for Eggman, so kind of strange. And Amy's bird that she had with her apparently was holding onto a Chaos Emerald, which Eggman took. Well, uh, okay. If I'm to continue, I need to change this ship back to its original shape. There must be a switch somewhere on the bridge. I've got to find it now. So, yes, with the sky deck in place, there's not really anything we can do about all of this. Huh? Oh yeah, here's where we're supposed to go. Alright, so, um, we have that button there that will make this trail of rings, which we can just light dash up. And we end up in the main control room. Now, I always thought this was kind of funny. If you jump on this, this is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to jump in the seat. And it puts up, like, a little missile there to be launched when you're in place. Like, it automatically puts up that missile to be launched. It always makes me laugh. But what you're supposed to do is you jump on this, it moves forward, and behind it is the button to switch the sky deck back to normal. Emergency alert has been canceled. Resuming monorail operation. So yes, that's how that basically works. You can come back here anytime to press this button. If you have the sky deck turned on, then you can return to the sky deck and replay the stage. If you have it turned off, you can move around the egg carrier more freely. So, now that we have it opened up, that's where we came from before, now this whole area is open in front of us. And as you can see, that large green platform is where we were when the sky deck was turned on. All that trouble could have been avoided if it, if it weren't for the sky deck, we would just have a short walk. So yeah, big difference. Either way, let's go ahead as we can see Eggman there and a purple looking person. Oh no! Not again! Chaos! Could this be the same beast? <laughs> oh yes! Attack Sonic! No! Froggy? I must say Froggy! If he's your friend, I'll help you. Just leave it to me. <laughs> now I have six of the Chaos Emeralds. There's only one more left to find. I even found Chaos's missing tail! You won't get away with this, you madman! I will! You're no match for Chaos, even though he's not perfected yet! Okay, Chaos, destroy them all! Immediately! Alrighty, and here we have the fight with Chaos 6. So apparently at some point, Eggman managed to get another Chaos Emerald, and he also took that one from the bird. Now here we're actually fighting Eggman and Chaos 6. We only have to destroy Chaos 6 though, Eggman we can't really fight. You'll drop these little ice things on top of us, these little bombs they'll float over you and try to freeze you. You can just homing attack them though to- oh, I messed that up. You can homing attack them to knock them out of the air. Chaos will sometimes use his tail to attempt to swipe at you with- now if we just knock these out of the air what we gotta do is take them and throw them at Chaos when he has his mouth open. Or he can try or while he's sucking things up like that, he can suck one in and he gets frozen. And we can just attack him to do damage. That's pretty much the only way we can fight him though. Now, this I find ironic. The thing is Eggman would be entirely correct. We would be helpless against Chaos 6 if Eggman weren't trying to attack us too. Now we can just throw these when he has his mouth open, and you can actually do damage a lot faster. If you do that, this is actually a very short boss fight. Now, here Chaos will jump into Ooh, I forgot he could do that. You'll jump and send out a shockwave to do damage. And I'm very bad at dodging said shockwave. Alright, now Eggman's launching these again. We can just throw these at Chaos to do damage. Now, I want to see him do one specific attack before this fight is over. He'll just do it. This is actually kind of a cool looking attack if you can get him to do it. Because he only has one hit left. 
Come on, Chaos. I just want to show this thing. This is the last thing I want to do before ending the episode. Come on, Chaos. I'm just running in circles here. Come on. Please. Please. Is he going to do it? Okay, he jumps up. No, it's just another shockwave jump. And it, when he does that shockwave jump, by the way, it knocks all those ice things off of the stage. So he can't take damage from them anymore. Now, I, I should mention, if you try to get attack Eggman, he'll fly out of your range. I don't know why he doesn't do this in all other fights. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, well, I guess we're going to destroy Chaos this time after all. So, I guess we won't be showing that attack. Oh, well. What the attack basically is, he, like, changes form into, like, a blob with his tail on top. And he'll send out all these little spikes in all directions to make it more difficult for you to move. And then he'll try to swipe at you with his tail. That's his most powerful attack, but he didn't even use it this time. I hate Eggman. Where's this? To show me something. All right, we can now play as Big, which was that purple cat-looking guy that showed up looking for Froggy. So he's the last character. With that, we have all the characters unlocked, and we are almost at the end of Sonic's story, actually. And we. I think we'll be able to finish it up next episode. So, for now, this has been Wentis. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time when we follow that mysterious light into that temple. See you then.